Hey, how's it going guys? Zeta here. So, this was very unexpected. So, PlayStation on YouTube channel basically have released this video introducing the PlayStation 30th Anniversary Collection. So, Hideaki Nishio basically made an introduction and also kind of introduced what to expect for this 30th Anniversary. My goodness, PlayStation 30th Anniversary, it's been such a long time since the introduction of the PlayStation 1 and now it seems like there will be some limited bundles and limited things introduced with the PlayStation 5. And of course, when they're going through this video, they started actually showcasing what they have in store. So here is the PlayStation 5, aka Slim, and I really like the design. It very is reminiscent of PlayStation 1 era, and even though it's just, it looks maybe a little bit too simple, but again, it is the point of this. Look, they're even showing, showcasing here PlayStation 30th anniversary. I think it's a very nice touch, just to showcase a little bit more. You know, every nook and cranny of these little designs and details that are present within this uh, console. Now the whole console over itself just is all in grey, just like PlayStation 1 was back in then. Here's the new printing that they've got in here and also uh, printing in the inside, basically kind of introduction of like triangle 30 X and square basically based well a reminiscent of a 30th anniversary makes total sense but yet also uh, having the whole console grayed out a little bit like a darker gray and uh, tone and also a little bit lighter gray get the controllers a similar case as well but of course we can clearly see that the PlayStation logo has the original colors just to, uh, just like it is in the uh, console as well on the side so uh when they made that coin a close shot towards the logo, the PlayStation 1 logo, it does look very, very pretty. It looks actually a, a very high quality. Same thing, same case has been done with the controller and, you know, for the grip and the textures and a very nice kind of a... A kind of like a design idea that they made here, including the USB charging for your controller. Very similar that was actually used back on PlayStation 1 that you will constantly had to your, keep your controller connected. It was actually very similar uh, control, well, cable like this one. And of course, in this case, they have a USB universal connection to it. So this time you will be able to connect your, uh, you know, front port of the, of the PlayStation to your controller. Now they're also mentioning the limited edition of 30th anniversary PlayStation portal. And this looks very pretty. And also, yet again, look, the logo is all present here. It's a very high quality definition of how much they have done in terms of introducing this 30th anniversary limited edition kind of a, a bundle. In the back, they're also showcasing here PlayStation 30th anniversary once again, that kind of a the ingrant, or I think there's a specific you know, word for it, but nevertheless, the way that they printed it in. Now they're going into the big next thing and perhaps the coolest in my opinion, of course, I'm talking about the PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, uh, obviously, now that I'm looking at this video, I'm just kind of realizing as well, this is actually a proper introduction towards the PlayStation 5 Pro that's been done by Sony. So 30th anniversary and it also has a quantity of 12 300. Basically, 12,300 of these consoles are going to be available, so it's quite limiting. So you're going to have to pay attention. There's an engravement, that's it. Uh, that's the word I meant to say. But yeah, 30th anniversary again for the PlayStation. It's a very nice touch. And yes, of course, we can clearly see the stand, the vertical stand. It's also a little bit kind of, what is that, grayed out a little bit perhaps? Just specific for the PlayStation 5 Pro. It really works. And honestly, now that I'm looking at these consoles side by side, the PlayStation 5 Pro is not that big, considering, of course, how big the standard version of the PlayStation 5 console is. Now, they're showcasing a little bit of the DualSense Edge controller. Nice touch here as well. Engravement is all a little bit different, of course. And on the buttons, the R1 and... not the R1, R2 and the L2 buttons. You can see all these imprints. Very nicely touched design. <laughs> on top of that, you can clearly see they have made some additional changes as well. In the DualSense Edge, the box, it's all grayed out, just like the PlayStation 1 color scheme. And all the normal limited edition kind of a... Um, 
exclusive bundles that you would expect, of course, as well. Now, it's important for me to clarify that you will only be able to get this and purchase this separately, so it doesn't actually come all in one giant bundle. And this, I assume, was for the PlayStation Portal and also for the DualSense Edge. But you do get uh, the cable, uh, well, basically you get the just like a regular console, right? You can pick up the PlayStation 5 Pro, you can get the controller, it all comes included. And there's also an extra mention that, I've, uh, that I read that you will be able to get the PlayStation 5 Pro, this is the interesting part, the side specifically and separately. And it will be grayed out as well because if you would have purchased a CD tray, right, separately, for specifically for the PlayStation 5 Pro, you do not have to worry because they will send you a side for this console. I really appreciate that. At least they bloody considered something, didn't they? Now here's the biggest question. <laughs> How much will this cost? And unfortunately, we do not know the price. It is still too early and uh, like everything here that we know, there's, there's just no extra additions, no extra features. Like it doesn't come with like a, a bigger hard drive or, well, SSD drive, I should say. And it is also two terabyte uh, Wi-Fi 7. It's all the bells and whistles that you already are familiar with the PlayStation 5 Pro and everything that introduces here. It's just basically for the aesthetic and that's all the very much is. Uh, that is, of course, if we make this kind of comparison from the original PlayStation 5 Pro and this uh, 30th anniversary PlayStation 5 Pro. And yet, you know, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. But again, it's just the question is, how much will this really be costing? Like, is this going to be the same price as would be the original console? I kind of doubt it. But again, is it going to go up to 50 bucks more? Is it going to go 100, 200? <sighs> Jesus, like, we have to consider this like, PlayStation 5 Pro costs already $700 or 800 euros. And if you're asking us to pay an, yet an additional 100 euros on top, that hurts. That really much hurts. Pre-orders will be beginning on September the 26th as well. Just if you guys want it, they are going to be very limited. And again, I'm actually considering picking this up for myself, the PlayStation 5 Pro specifically. And of course, if this PlayStation 5 Pro is anything to go by in terms of this aesthetic and how this is presented, I think I like it. I think I like it a lot. But I'm not going to make that kind of a purchase or that investment if it's going to cost a ridiculous amount of money. And I'm, that's why I'm very much worried about it. <laughs> Nevertheless, guys, that's all I wanted to have a little bit of a... Uh, just kind of going over and seeing this video. It's a very nice touch, I personally think. And uh, I really do believe it. You know, it, it's a nice kind of reminiscent, like, story how the PlayStation begun. Right, 20th anniversary was for the PlayStation 4 Pro. That was like a translucent bluish case going through the PlayStation 4 Pro and you can clearly see the inside. And I think it was also for the controller. That was a very beautiful touch as well. And it was also limited quantities. And now we're seeing it one done once again for the PlayStation 5 Pro this time. Ah, that's like music to my ears, I should say, right? Perhaps. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this looks interesting. I am very much keen on checking it out more and maybe if it doesn't cost too much more comparing this to the original price of the pleasure of my pro then I may consider getting it because well the sole reason because it's limited that's really is it but other than that yeah <laughs> don't forget guys I'm still kind of pissed off the way pleasure 5 pro even costs this much my goodness I made a whole bunch of videos about that guys do check it out and uh, of course, hit that like, subscribe, and all that great stuff. And uh, I see you guys all. And uh, yeah, <laughs> have a good one.